everyone. Welcome back to another episode of Detroit Become Human. So, yeah, let's just continue. We just played as Marcus, right, I think? Connor, maybe? Or Kara? No, probably not Kara. Or maybe a new droid. I wonder if this is all the droids we're going to play as. Yeah, that seems like Connor. He has the coin, right? No androids allowed. And no pets as well. Owners will be prosecuted. Are we going in? Okay. Find Lieutenant Anderson. Scan faces. Mismatch. Peterson, Jimmy. Business owner. Criminal record, none. Mismatch. Dempsey, Edward. Administrator. Criminal record, none. It's like the kind of bar where there would be a lot of criminal records. Mismatch. Oops. Can I not? I want to see it again. Mismatch. Myers, Derek. Security guard. Criminal record. None. Shit, I thought androids weren't allowed in here. Mismatch. Graham Jonah. Unemployed. None. Match great. Christopher, unemployed, criminal record DUI. Oh, oh well, sorry. Want to buy me a drink? Mismatch. Johan Kim, delivery driver, currently unemployed, domestic abuse, really. Oh, there's people in this corner as well. Mismatch Ward Dennis, accountant currently unemployed, narcotic supplier. Ooh, shouldn't we do something about that? <laughs> and this is someone who takes narcotics, basically. Mismatch Roberts Chris, unemployed, criminal record none. Hey, get out of here! Are we missing no this guy? Mismatch McRae Samuel Docker, criminal record none. In here, maybe. I saw somewhere here. There you go. Thirty one percent unemployment rate. When will it stop? Uh, that's again androids, killer, something. What did we miss then? That's the hand. This guy? Can we get this guy? Can I see his face? Maybe. Oh. oh, wait, that wasn't. Whoops. Lieutenant Anderson, Hank. Police Lieutenant, criminal record, none. Well, there we go. Introduce yourself. Lieutenant Anderson, my name is Connor. I'm the android sent by Cyberlife. I looked for you at the station, but nobody knew where you were. They said you were probably having a drink nearby. I was lucky to find you at the fifth bar. What do you want? You were assigned a case early this evening. A homicide involving a Cyberlife android. In accordance with procedure, the company has allocated a specialized model to assist investigators. Well, I don't need any assistance. <laughs> Especially not from a plastic asshole like you. Excuse Just be me. Just a good little robot and get the fuck oh. out of here. <laughs> uh, reason, threaten, understanding, persist. I I'm sorry, persist. Lieutenant, but I must insist. My instructions stipulate that I have to accompany you. You know where you can stick your instructions? <laughs> no, 
<laughs> oh my god, Connor. <laughs> you Never cutie. Mind. Oh, he doesn't like me. Um, I'm going to reason again. I think you should stop drinking and come with me. It'll make life easier for both of us. Spill his drink, buy him another drink. Wait outside. I apologize, Lieutenant. Oh. I didn't mean to bother you. I press no button. I'll wait I for think. you outside. Take your time. Okay. Did you say homicide? Controller is shaking so much right now. You wait here. I won't be long. Uh, diplomatic? My instructions are to accompany you to the crime scene, Lieutenant. Listen, I don't give a fuck about your instructions. Okay, at least it went up. I, I don't know why, you but... Here. So you shut the fuck up, and you wait here. Conflicting order is selecting priority. Oh no, it's a bit laggy again. Well, Lieutenant Anderson, <laughs> okay. Well, there you go. Josh Douglas for Channel 16. Can you confirm that this is a homicide? I'm not confirming anything. Oh no. Oh no, why is it this bad? Let's see. Please. Please be alright again. Alright again. Androids are not permitted beyond this point. It's with me. It's with me. I see. It's okay. What part of stay in the car didn't you understand? Your order contradicted my instructions, Lieutenant. You don't talk, you don't touch anything, and you stay out of my way. Got it? Got it. Evening, Hank. We were starting to think you weren't gonna show. Yeah, that was the plan till this asshole found me. <laughs> so yourself an android, huh? Oh, very funny. Just tell me what happened. We had a call around 8 from the landlord. The tenant hadn't paid his rent for a few months, so he thought he'd... Killed someone. Killed what's going on. That's when he found the body. Carlos, I think? Jesus, smell. It was even worse before we opened the windows. Oh. The victim's name's Carlos Ortiz. Ortiz. He has a record for theft and aggravated assault. According to the neighbors, he was kind of a loner. Stayed inside most of the time. They hardly ever saw him. Wow, well, stayed easy in. Wasn't worth calling everybody out in the middle of the night. Could have waited till morning. I'd say he's been there for a good three weeks. We'll know more when the coroner gets here. There's a kitchen knife over here. Probably the murder weapon. Any sign of a break-in? Nope. The landlord said the front door was locked from the inside. All the windows were boarded up. The killer must have gone out the back way. What do we know about his android? Not much. The neighbors confirmed he had one, but it wasn't here when we arrived. Well, I, I gotta get some air. Ugh. Make yourself at home, I think. I'll be outside if you need me. Wait, 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 what? I got teleported a little bit there. Can I not check him out again? This letter is perfect. It's way too neat, no human. It's like this. I am a light. It's like this. But it is done with Chris, blood, right? Is this written in the victim's blood? Okay, well. I would say so. We're taking samples for analysis. Hmm. Regular letters, font, cyber life, sans. Okay. Oh, so it was an android who did this? Oh, Jesus. What the hell are you doing? <laughs> I'm analyzing the blood. I can check samples in real time. I'm sorry. 
I should have warned you. Okay, just don't uh. put any more evidence in your <laughs> mouth. You got it? Got it. Oh, fucking hell, I can't believe this shit. Dry blood. Okay, so it is from Ortiz. Carlos. Ortiz? Ortiz. Red ice. Seems our friend Carlos liked him. Red ice? That's, um, drugs? You know drugs that we found, those are also red. Oh, red ice. There you go. Acetone, lithium, therium. Yeah, that's the therium that comes in. So that's the drugs we found as well. Deceased. Estimated time of death around 11.30 p.m. I don't know the time now. I'm pretty sure they said it, but I missed it. Okay. Out here. 28 knife wounds. Oh, someone hated him. Deceased more than 19 days ago. That's a long time. Theft and aggravated assault is his criminal record. Okay. Same. Can I turn around? Oh, he slipped here. Victim fell. Yeah. Wait. Let's let's check that. So he fell, and then but that went a bit weirdly. Can I like that? He fell in a really weird way, <laughs> like a really long way. Stabbed. They came from the kitchen. Okay. Interesting. He was stabbed twenty-eight times. Yeah. 28. Seems like the killer really had it in for. Yeah, him. exactly. Yeah. Chris, I want full analysis on the narcotics. Nothing behind us. Okay. Consider it done, Lieutenant. Number two, the knife. No fingerprints, Android involvement? Question mark. Yeah. Kind of. Kind of seems like it is. Hey, Mike, you finished taking samples? Right blood from him as well. Yeah, that's it. So we have two things over here. Come visit us, Eden Club. Someone outside as well. <laughs> that looks really creepy. Okay, let's see. Oh, wait, 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 wait. There you go. Dry blood? I'm not sure exactly where I'm seeing a dry blood. We are going the wrong way. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> That's better. <laughs> Less than 60 minutes ago. Door okay. Was from the inside. Killer must have gone out this way. Huh. There are no footprints apart from Officer Collins' size 10 shoes. Well, this happened weeks ago. Tracks could have faded. No. This type of soil would retain a trace. Nobody's been out here for a long time. Deviant didn't escape this way. Okay. Oh, that's a dry blood that we saw before, I think. Okay. Oh, maybe not. Fingerprints. They match him, theft, yeah. Okay, 
signs of struggle. Oh, a baseball bat. But he was stabbed, right? So those are Carlos's fingerprints. Den, cause violent impact, traces of Ethereum. Okay, construct. Um, that's Carlos, what was he? Oh! Oh, he was hitting the Deviant, probably the droid, the android? Deviant was attacked. So, he was attacked. And then he took the knife. Okay, I see. Report? Wait, but did we get only 8 out of 10 evidence still? Let's not report yet. There's at least one more here. I don't know what this one means. Oh, well, at least we can read this. Gossips Weekly. Android sex official. Oh, yeah, of course. They use it for that as well. I should have thought of that. <laughs> Android sex officially better. Sorry, ladies, a plastic can't be beat. Oh, my God. Mark Water and Nancy Re step out together. Judy Hewitt shows off her new beach bot. <laughs> the result of our survey is in, and it's official, 68% of our men prefer sex with an android to real women. And with 52% of men saying they've tried to experience at least once, there's a lot of android love to go around. There were a few reasons given for this preference, but we think we know the real reason. Androids don't want to talk about their feelings afterwards. Oh my god, that's so sexist. This story was sponsored by Eden Club. Discretion is our middle name. Oh my god. <laughs> New Apple's headset allows for live translations of languages. Tech Edit. Is your android spying on you? Cyberlife could be using its androids to collect private information. Zero Gravity Subway to connect New York City and DC in 45 minutes. Yeah, we've seen that. <laughs> More and more experts are suggesting that CyberLife uses its 120 million androids to record details of private conversations of its customers and sell them to trading partners. Ever talked about buying that new car while eating dinner with your partner? CyberLife could use that information for targeted advertising. The information goldmine doesn't stop there. Everything from personal indiscretions to poli uh, political affairs could easily be extracted and potentially be used for nefarious purposes. The spate of reports linking Warren's presidency to cyber life only deepens such concerns. Several consumers' rights organizations have requested that cyber life disclose the information it gathers and who it sells that information to, but the company has always refused. Requests for a formal inquiry have gone unanswered so far. This seems so realistic, like they really thought of all the possible different outcomes. I still don't see anything here that you can have in a scenario like this. You walk? You're in the way! <laughs> please! Detroit police! We haven't checked here yet. Because there's still missing evidence. That just leads back to the same room. Oh. Another body? Oh no. Obsessive writing. What does it say? Air. Nine or ARQ? Oh! Ooh. Well, this is creepy. Religious offering? Yeah, it kind of looks like something weird. Some cult like something. <laughs> well, we're still missing one. everything here nothing in the closet let's do one more check of everything because I don't I don't see what we're missing hmm. before we talk to him no 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 I don't want to talk to him no <laughs> Can 
9 out of 10, 9 out of 10, 9 out of 10. Oh, wait, 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 there was something here on this table. There we go. Is that the red ice? Yeah. It is. Victim, use drugs, yeah. That was quite obvious. Okay, we got all the evidence. Awesome. Now let's talk. Lieutenant, I think I figured out what happened. Oh, yeah? Shoot, I'm all ears. It all started... Um, in the kitchen? In the kitchen. There are obvious signs of a struggle. The question is, what exactly happened here? I think the victim attacked the android. The victim attacked the android with the bat. With the bat? That lines up with the evidence. Go on. Pay attention, guys. I need to pay attention. The android threw the chair. The android stabbed the victim. The victim stabbed the android. The android the stabbed android the victim. Stabbed the victim. So the android was trying to defend itself, right? Okay. Then what happened? The victim fled to the living room. The living room. Makes sense. The android murdered the victim. The android murdered the victim with the knife, right? With the knife. Okay. Your theory's not totally ridiculous. But it doesn't tell us where the android went. It was damaged by the bat and lost some therium. Lost some what? Therium. You call it blue blood. It's the fluid that powers Android's biocomponents. Oh, okay. It evaporates after a few hours and becomes invisible to the naked eye. Oh, but I bet you can still see it, can't you? <laughs> Correct. <laughs> Find a deviant, search for blue blood traces, and Hank likes us a little bit better now. Okay. Oh, I see some traces here. This way. And it goes this way to the bathroom. Oh, can examine. The ladder was used. Oh, I see. Okay. Is he in here? No. <laughs> Wait, now I kind of want to check the kitchen. Like, did we miss anything there that we could interact with? I don't see anything. Okay. Let's check the bathroom. I'm sure he's not in the bathroom. He's up there. But just to see... Okay. Okay, well, let's check up there then. Traces lead to the attic. Oh, there's an attic there. Oof. I don't like that. <laughs> Find something to climb. Chair. Hey, hey, hey. What are you doing with that chair? I'm going to check something. <laughs> yeah, what do you expect me to answer to that as well? Check <laughs> I like the voice of Lieutenant Anderson. I like all of their voices, actually. Uh-oh. Okay, let's search the attic. Not a fan of this at all. 
the end, the blood goes this way. Great. Uh. Ooh. Oh, I hate dolls. See? Dolls and everything, guys. I say it and everything, but there's dolls and everything. Stupid mannequins. Scare. Jump. Oh yeah, he's he's here. He's here. Eh. We're not playing a horror game, right? <laughs> Are we? But he knows we're here. So why still try to be quiet? A different outcome. Achievement unlocked. Deviant located. Oh, awesome. Look at that! Look at that! There's one thing we missed, though. Re another option to reconstruct a crime? Connor knows what happened. Oh, if we didn't know what happened, probably. Then maybe we wouldn't have found a deviant, I'm guessing. And then analyze a knife and then check the shower. We missed something there. We missed like a whole thing there. Oh, I wonder what that is. And here we have the three options. 75% completed. Partners. Public opinion is skeptical. Software instability is still question mark. Hank is neutral right now. Okay. Kind of want to see the world stats. 14% chose wait outside. That's because I didn't actually want to wait outside, guys. <laughs> it was a bit of an accident. <laughs> so a lot of people have all of this. A lot of people have all of this. And a lot of people have the outcome. Okay, cool. So that's really nice. Um, I think we're going to end the episode here then. Uh, next uh, episode we will continue with this story or maybe we're switching again to another android i'm not sure but yeah i hope you guys enjoyed it if you did please like and subscribe and i'll see you guys next time bye <laughs>